Welcome everybody. Welcome to Jesse's Variety Channel. Today I'm going to be cooking Cajun pork and sausage jambalaya. I've got my ingredients here ready to, to start up. First of all I've got manteca. I'm going to use to brown the pork. I've got about a pound of uh, pork butt. I've cut up into pieces and about six or eight ounces of Cajun sausage. Cajun sausage is a key to this dish. I'll put the link in the description where you can buy this sausage. It's at my cousin's store in Ville Platte, Louisiana. I've got a cup of rice, water, uh, about a half of an onion, chopped up kind of coarse. I've got some fresh parsley, about uh, a teaspoon of garlic, minced up garlic, about a cup of green onions, and I season the meat and let it sit with the Tony Sachery seasoning. And uh, let's get started, put this together, it's going to be really good. Okay, I've got the hog lard in the pot. And I like cooking it in a black iron skillet because cooking in black iron pots are always, I don't know, it gives it a really good <laughs> taste. I'm going to let that heat up a little bit and then we're going to put the uh, cut up pork in it. Okay, got the, the pork in there. We're going to brown this real good. Set it on a high fire. Pieces, you know, nice size pieces. Doesn't have to be real big. Don't want it too small either, the pieces. Get that going. When it's uh, browned up some, somewhat, I'm going to add the sausage in just a minute. Okay, we got that browned up. So I'm going to add the sausage and continue browning for you know, a couple minutes. Okay, we're going to add the onions and the garlic. Stir that up. This is a really easy dish to, to prepare and very delicious. It's one of Jesse's favorites that I cook, Cajun dishes that I cook. Ooh, it's smelling good already. <laughs> well, 
let that cook a little bit. Stir this up. Starting to brown at the bottom. On the, the pork, I like to season it and let it sit for a few hours in the refrigerator with the seasoning on it. And then I use that Tony Sachery. It's got the spices, the pepper, the spicy uh, peppery seasoning. And if you haven't ever used it, you should try it. It's really good. It makes the taste of dishes. You may put the green onion and the parsley. Let's see what's starting to make the brown stuff at the bottom. Onions. And the parsley. About a tablespoon or so of parsley. Fresh parsley. Stir that up. Rice. Stir that up. It was coated, the rice is all coated with the oil. And then it's kept on the pork fat. And then pork, the fat from the, the pork itself. Put that all stirred up really nice. This just like you would with rice, you let it boil down. Bring it to a boil. And then we'll cover it. It's really sm it smells so good. Okay, we got it at a boil. It's a little light colored. I think I'm going to put a little bit of kitchen bouquet, the brownie sauce, just to add a little bit darker color to it. Just a little bit. So it doesn't look so pale. There we go. Continue to let it boil down some, just like you would, like I said, just like you would cook rice on the stove. You're going to let the water boil out of it and then cover it. We're going to turn the fire down to about a medium. And let it, let it boil some more until some of that water is gone. Okay, the water is boiled out of it just about all of it, just where we need to get it, like this, and now we're going we're gonna to cover this and let it cook until the rice is done, which is usually about 20 minutes. We'll see you back when the finished product is uh, ready. 
And yes, you're going to lower the fire to simmer very low, very low fire for it to finish cooking. Okay, we're back. We're going to uncover it and check doing looks good I'm gonna stir it up I like to stir it up it's kind of sticking to the bottom but that's okay it's okay because once you turn it off that whatever stuck to the bottom is gonna loosen up but it's looking real good Smells delicious. Okay, let me check. Check that rice, see how it's coming along. Yeah, the rice is almost done. Probably another five minutes and it'll be ready. I'll be able to turn off the heat. Okay, it's ready. Show you the finished product there. Turn the fire off and let it sit. Oh, does that look delicious or what? It's going to be really, really delicious. Well, here is the finished product. I'm, I served it up with some buttered corn and homemade uh, bread and butter pickles. That's how I'm going to eat it. Jesse is going to make him a taco with this uh, jambalaya. A different twist to it. We already made one. <clears throat> we already made one. It was with lettuce only. With lettuce only. It Tasted was. pretty good. Now he's putting him some jalapeno pepper in there. He's got some pork and sausage in his tortilla. Then he's going to put a little bit of lettuce. Just enough like they do in a restaurant. Because it seems like when they put the lettuce in the taco, it seems like they're running out. So this is how I'm going to try it this time with the jalapeno. jalapenos in it. Here goes. I opted for this option. Aside from the normal using some uh, crystal hot sauce, or Louisiana hot sauce, either one. So I thought tonight, let me try some tortillas and dress it up with some lettuce maybe and jalapenos instead. Tastes pretty good. So we're going to enjoy our meal. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next video. God bless.